Hello everyone, this is Veron. I bet some of you already watched the time-lapse video of the Coco Melon Cake Topper Assembly that I posted a couple months ago. For anyone who haven't watched it yet, I put the video link on the description below. For quite a while, I received some comments asking for a video of how I designed it in Cricut Design Space. So here it is. But before that, if you're watching right now and haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of our future video tutorials, click on the notification bell. Now let's jump into our tutorial. Thank you and enjoy! FYI also, I am using Design Space in iPad. There are a bit of differences between Design Space in iPad versus the Design Space in desktop or laptops. So here is the design that we will recreate in Design Space. All the Coco Melon characters, I got them from Google for free. And the rainbow and the clouds, I got them from Etsy. I posted on the description below the Etsy shop link for the rainbow and the clouds. Since I am just using the iPad for design space, I still don't have the offset feature. So I use a third-party application which is called Fonto App to do the offset of the number. The tutorial on how to put offset on Fonto app is also listed on the description below. As you can see, I already inserted all the objects that I that I will be using on this design to the canvas. Let's start with arranging the rainbow. So, let's put all the colors in line to form the rainbow shape. Once you have arranged the rainbow, highlight all the colors and then duplicate it. After duplicating, attach and weld the whole rainbow so that you can make one solid object. You can change the color of your uh, one solid object to any color that you like. This will be our base for the rainbow wherein you will have to adhere all the pieces of the rainbow colors. Click on Arrange and send to back your base. Now let's go to the cloud. So earlier I said that I got my clouds from Etsy. My mistake because I only got it from Google. And I just clean it up in the design space. Yeah, so there are lots of free SVGs over the internet. Just try to dig and really try to search for something that you really need to. Or a lot of times I also buy SVGs from Etsy. After the clouds, you can put now the ribbon banner. This ribbon banner, I got it from Google, I think three or four years ago, the first time that I started with, uh, with Cricut. So I will reiterate, you can buy lots of SVGs, ribbon banners, SVGs in Etsy. So going back to that ribbon banner, I'll just show you where I find it in my design space because this has been uploaded to my design space out iCloud like three to four years ago as I mentioned earlier. So it's just so easy for me to grab it on the iCloud. After placing the ribbon, you can now put or arrange the other objects on your design. Actually, there is no sequence on what to put first or last with the objects. It's just a matter of how you would want your design to be seen. I did the offset of my photo in Photoshop Mix and Pix Art, which I will show you on how to do it on my next video tutorials. As I have said, it's up to you whatever object or whatever photo you want to put first or next or last. It depends on how you would want to design your topper. You can use also the arrange button if you want your photos or your objects to be seen at the back or in front or if you want to send it, send it in front or send it to back. So that's very useful for me. Here you can see my number 2 and it has 3 layers. So as I've said earlier, the offset for the numbers, I created it in Fonto app. I have the tutorial for that one. I will also provide the link on the description below. 
And now let's move forward to the other objects in the canvas, which is Coco Melon and the music notes. So just rearrange them however or whichever you want them to be seen on the cake topper. So we're almost done with the design and the last part that we're gonna put on the topper is the name. So the font style of the name and the number is Bubble Bubble. So I got it from the font which is for free only. So with the name, I opt to use different colors for each letter because I want to give the topper a bright, colorful, lively, and exciting feel when you see it in person. So that's it. We're done with the design for the Coco Melon Cake Topper. And then uh, for this one, I'll just show you what are, the what are the objects that were to cut and what are the objects to print and cut so here you can see that only the main characters like coco melon the family and the music notes are print and cut then the rest of the objects are all cut only so one advice that i can give you is just play with the colors just play with the characters or the items that you want to put on the on your design until you see it's pleasing to your eyes and you know that your clients will be very happy when they see your design and your topper. Hope you learned from this one and thank you for watching. Bye!